Hello you two people, today I am going to show you Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical 38mm white dial without the date. My dream watch, one of my dream watches. I always looked up to this watch like wow this is one of those god tier watches. I wish I would have it one day. I, I wasn't specifically looking to buy this watch but I got such a good deal that I just couldn't say no. Somebody listed this watch as unwanted gift for a very reasonable price. And this watch is basically new, not a single wear mark. Strap still looks uh, completely fresh. It came with box and papers, everything absolutely wonderful. But but as there is saying <laughs> don't meet your heroes so this watch was my hero but i got disappointed uh, with this watch for two objective reasons it's not just my personal opinion i i will explain myself you know what this video is gonna be pretty long because i did fashion show with this watch at the end of the video i'm gonna show you how this watch looks like on many different straps because this in my eyes one of the best looking watches ever and it is a strap monster it looks wonderful on any strap so you can skip towards the end of the video and watch how it looks like on all kinds of different straps but to cut the chase i want to get straight to the point and tell you two negative things about this watch that got me really disappointed and i was thinking about keeping this watch but no actually i feel too disappointed and I'm actually gonna sell this watch. So first problem. Now uh, in my eyes I see this watch as a very important watch. Uh, for example if there is any uh, watch with big water resistance with a timing bezel that watch is publicly instantly written off as, as, as just a Rolex or Mariner homage basically. And another example, if there is some kind of beautiful dress style watch that is rectangular or square shape, that watch is instantly publicly written off as just a Cartier tank homage. That's, you know, those watches are icons. Another example, if there is some kind of uh, tool watch, field style tool watch, that watch is publicly instantly written off as Hamilton field watch. So this is the field watch this is the hamilton field watch that everybody instantly thinks about if they think about a field watch this is that field watch that everybody has instantly in their mind if they think about a field watch basically you know so the street credit in my opinion or should i say reddit credit is as high as it can possibly get in my opinion so my expectations for this watch were pretty high pretty high and you know I had many watches from Aliexpress and I don't expect much from Aliexpress. You know, you buy a cheap watch, you, you expect that somewhere you're gonna be corners cut and savings done. So if I get a sharp watch from Aliexpress, yeah, whatever, I finished those edges by myself with a sandpaper. But when I was taking this Hamilton out of the packaging, I was, hold on a second, what the hell? It has sharp edges on the bottom of the case, just like any watch from Aliexpress basically and usually that's not a problem for me but I for once wanted to have a real good watch I don't know Swiss made Hamilton you know serious brand everything I wanted wanted to have a watch without compromises like it has history heritage it's not you know it's it's the field watch it's it's super cool it's super beautiful looks amazing but I take it out of the packaging and I come on, seriously. I mean, it's not a problem. I can finish those edges myself, but seriously, come on. It, why Hamilton doesn't take this watch seriously? I mean, if they would take this watch seriously, they would finish this watch perfectly fine. But no, edges on the bottom of the case are sharp. I, I know for many people that just doesn't matter, whatever. For me, it also wouldn't matter, but but this is a true icon and finding something like that it's it's a compromise and I, I wasn't expecting that so that's that's first disappointment another another disappointment disappointment <laughs> is a little bit bigger in my opinion um let's put it that way uh, the importance how important i see that thing uh, 
it's like imagine a diving style watch with a bezel everything not cheap one fairly well built but it has just 50 meters of water resistance what the hell right what the hell <laughs> now another example imagine a g-shock uh fashion g-shock let's call it but it's made out of ceramic i mean what's the point a g-shock ceramic g-shock what the hell you drop it down it breaks so that important i see loom on a field watch and to find out that the loom on this watch is just a little bit stronger than on any casio watch well that's disappointing <laughs> that's disappointing it's like uh, it's, i'm telling you it's like a diving watch with 50 meters of water resistance it's like a g-shock made out of ceramic a field watch that doesn't have a proper loom seriously at this price point especially at this price point and you know this is iconic watch a true icon yeah very very serious watch why doesn't hamilton take this watch seriously and finish off sharp edges and put a proper loom i don't remember the name of this loom it's something super whatever i mean i'm sorry there is nothing super about this loom not impressive whatsoever you could say oh those you know markers are very small so they can't really be very 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 shiny <laughs> at, at, at the night not my problem this is not my problem this is iconic watch i mean what kind of cost cuttings are there i mean uh, a watch that in europe uh, come on in in america it costs somewhere upwards from uh, 400 uh, dollars in europe it costs somewhere from 600 euros and you can't even put a proper loom on a watch with white dial white dial you can make the whole dial out of loom there is no saying that oh those markers are a little bit small so you can't put a don't bullshit me come on i had the watches from aliexpress that cost less than 50 euros and has way way better loom than this watch it, it, it got me disappointed okay the thing is that i have worn this watch now full week longer than a week a uh, single watch full week and every day i look at this watch even in a broad daylight and I feel the disappointment. I mean, it's it's an icon watch, iconic watch. You can put almost any price tag you want on this watch with this strong heritage and such a strong iconic, you know, street uh, <laughs> respect or whatever. I mean, 50 euros here or there doesn't make difference at this level of importance. I'm not saying that, oh, wow, it's 600, 650 or 550 euros. I'm speaking about how important this, this is their field watch. Their field watch everybody has in mind. Yet you can't put proper loom on this watch. I mean, making this watch 50 euros more expensive doesn't change anything. But me putting proper loom on this watch, it means everything. For me, this watch right now is just... Mm, I don't know, man. It's, I don't want to be rude. If you, I mean, I'm not talking down. On this, if you have this watch, if you enjoy this watch, I'm not just happy for you. I'm actually jealous. I'm honestly jealous. If you have a watch uh, like this, uh, well, this Hamilton, and you are perfectly fine that loom is not good, perfectly fine that edges are sharp. I'm honestly so jealous, so jealous. I want to enjoy this watch, this watch, but. I, all, all I feel is just disappointment. And, you know, I used to look at Hamilton watches like most Hamilton watches. I look at them like one of the most beautiful watches ever made. I look at them as god tier watches. They look incredible. Ham Hamilton is the brand that, in my opinion, makes one of the best looking watches, period. No questions about that. But, and I used to look at those watches like, wow, man, these are freaking god tier watches they are amazing <laughs> now i have one and i i'm ruined i'm ruined i can no longer look at hamilton watches and think think that the same way i look at them right now i'm like yeah nice nice but general vibe general vibe is is, is very similar to aliexpress watches i'm afraid that's that's just how i feel about it but i feel like 
I feel like those two negative points that I had just mentioned, you are fairly objective. It's not just, you know, my personal opinion. It's it's disappointing. Okay, Hamilton takes such an iconic watch, as as important as it can get, right? As strong street credit as it can get, yet they don't take it seriously. They don't finish edges, they don't put proper loom on this watch. I mean, come on. <sighs> Oh, I'm talking for over 10 minutes right now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know what? Let's go straight to the conclusions. Uh, where I gonna rate this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where it watches into different tier lists. I was thinking about Gautier. <laughs> was thinking about Gautier. Right now, no, I gonna put this watch into not bad. It doesn't go it into nope tier because let's be honest, this this is amazing watch after all. It looks as good as it can get. And and another thing, watch what I love about this watch, I love that it's mechanical. I don't really like uh, automatic watches, but full mechanical is my thing. I love it. And the crown action, the crown action on this watch makes this watch as well. It's it's buttery smooth, buttery smooth, zero grind. I had mechanical watches before with Seagull mechanical movement, those Girva watches, beautiful ones, but winding them as amazing as it was, it, feel, it still felt a little bit gritty, you know, a little bit grindy with this watch. Oh my god, you hear the clicking, but you don't feel the clicking with your fingers. That's how smooth it is. It's it's as wonderful as it can be. Uh, man, I wish I could love this watch, but all I feel is a disappointment. <laughs> so on my website, thomaswatchyvoos.com, where it watches into different tier lists, this watch goes into not bad. It's could be better. It could be better. Let's put it that way. Now... This is the end of my rant, you could say. Now let's move on to the fashion show. Let's take a look at the original strap. It's a very good quality strap. Stitching and everything is absolutely perfect. One of the best quality nylon straps I have ever had. It looks beautiful. The only problem I think that the buckle is a little bit too big. I wish this buckle would be a little bit smaller. On, on a person, on a wrist, it obviously looks wonderful as all the straps you're about to see because this watch is such a strap monster. Yeah, amazing, it looks amazing. Now this pearl strap, also nylon. I think this gray color matches white dial perfectly. It looks wonderful. And the same strap, but dark blue. It looks a little bit darker on the video it doesn't look that strong in person but it also looks beautiful in my opinion now this is just the class in nylon strap all watches look good on this strap this watch is no exception looks great looks great it's such a strap monster this watch now this is one of my favorites uh, one of my favorite leather straps it's great in the summer because of those holes and most watches look very classy on this brown leather strap now just just for fun this uh, chain mill of a strap <laughs> I just wanted to show you how it looks like it's a little bit too loose on my wrist with this uh, bracelet but yeah that's that's how it looks like <laughs> this one is just for fun it's like the strap from a movie once upon a time in the Hollywood it looks interesting somewhat uh, probably period correct I'm not sure but if you want something looking crazy this definitely looks crazy <laughs> now yeah gray straps look great on this watch also this one is tangible elastic it's very very comfortable if i will find links i will put links in the description to aliexpress where i bought these straps this is the same just the green one i think this uh, yellow stripe in the middle works very well with uh, the loom with yellow loom on this watch and to then my favorite one the red one i think this watch looks great on all of them but this one is my favorite and this is the last one i'm gonna show you so Thank you for watching, have a great day, goodbye.